I cannot believe I'm filming looking like this. Oh, hi guys. I was looking in the monitor and I look like a hot mess and I am a hot mess today. So welcome back to my channel, you guys. I've just been recovering from vacation today. So what you have here now is post-vacation hot mess yota. But you guys, I'm dying to break into this box that was here waiting for me. And I have a few more things coming this week, but this is something that I did take a peek. But you guys, I had to come up here looking like a hot mess because I have to tear into the box. So if you wanna see what I have, along with some other things that I picked up while I was on vacation, stick around. So I wanna show you guys the bags that I took to the beach. I took my gorgeous Neverfull in the Escal collection. And this seems to be my beach bag. I have been taking this bag to the beach just about every time we go, even in the fall. It just, it's, it's a beach bag, you guys. Of course, I don't take it out on the beach, but I just love to take it with me when I go to the beach, and I absolutely love it. So I took this with me one day when we were shopping, the day that I was vlogging, and we went out to dinner one night, so I just carried the little pouch, and I use my pouches. A lot of people buy the Neverfull and sell their pouches, but I use mine. So I took this, and I also took this pouch, and I took this out to dinner one night. So we went out to a restaurant, the whole family, and then we went to a bar, and I took this with me. And yeah, so these were my vacation bags that I took to the beach, and I really enjoyed using them. And of course, this one has the a Veracord organizer on the inside that I get from Amazon. I will link it below. I used to link them all the time. You guys, it is absolutely the best organizer for the money. They're about 20 bucks, if that. And they're just the super durable nylon. You can get all colors. And I chose this pink to go with this bag specifically. And because these are so inexpensive, I do tend to just keep them in my bag. So it has these pockets on the outside. It has this big pocket or zip. It has this big zipper pocket here. And you know, the big con about a Neverfull is that it does not zip, but this does zip. And it has all these organization pockets on the inside. And of course, of course you can zip your Neverfull. So, these are the best organizers for a Neverfull that I have found, especially for the money. So, the bag of the day. You guys, I haven't carried this bad boy in a while. It's my Artsy, my Azure Artsy. I came this close to selling it. I actually sold it and she was making payments to me. And then I panicked, you guys. I knew that I was gonna regret it. This is the old style Artsy. I sold my old star on Neverfull. I don't know how many times. I'm gonna tell you guys that because I've never gotten over it and I knew I would never get over selling this one. So I refunded all her money and she was fine with it. So I put this beautiful little coach pair on it. I thought it just looked really cute with the Azure. And also I have a strap, a big thick Bachetta strap that I got from Dress Up Your Purse. So I can actually carry this over my shoulder as well. So this is my bag. So this is my bag of the day. I'll probably carry this bag several days this week until I switch out maybe midweek. So yeah, I'm excited to carry this bag again. I love Azure, you guys. It's just, you know, I don't have an organizer in this one. I never did put an organizer in it and I probably never will, but I love it. Okay, you guys. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox and then and then I'm gonna share with you a few things that I picked up at the beach okay you guys I'm so excited I can't hide it I'm about to lose control and I think I like it <laughs> okay Zach Smith now I have a little story that goes along with this bag I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have and then I'll tell you the story because I don't like people that dilly dally how many times do I tell you guys that so, here it is. Oh yes, oh yes you guys. It is the Cherry Collection. I got the tote. I'm so excited. 
<sighs> okay, let's just let's just open it up. Okay, so let me just go ahead and take all this plastic off of it and then I'll tell you the story while I show you the bag. All right, you guys, I'm back. I got so excited. I couldn't even think of the name of this bag. <laughs> so it is the Coach Willow Tote in the Cherry Collection. I know that I got the, I know I already have the Rogue, but it's tiny. This one is not very big, but this is a great everyday size because this one will actually fit everything I need and more. And you guys, I tried not to buy it. I really did. I kept saying, I don't need it. Yota, you have the Rogue, you don't need it. But you know what, sometimes Yota doesn't listen. And I just, you know, the bad Yota just kept saying, go ahead and buy it because if you don't, you are gonna regret it. Okay, so I ordered this one from Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't, rem I don't really remember how much I got off on Rakuten, maybe 3%, but I had ordered it from another department store and now I can't remember which one it was, but it was cheaper because I had 10% off Rakuten, but anyway, whatever. You guys, it didn't come. It was on back order and I was gonna have to wait a while and I know sometimes when it's on back order, it will come sooner than you expect, but you guys, I had to have it. It's the ultimate summertime bag and for me, I prefer the chalk background. I'm just not a denim bag girl. I found that out when I got the denim Rebecca Minkoff bag. I like this. I really love the way the cherries look next to the chalk. So, look at that. Here's the opening right here, right there. And inside, there's a magnetic closure right here that will keep it closed. I love the leather on the inside of it. It's that beautiful kind of a mustard look. And then, of course, the middle part of the bag has this zippered area. Let me pull this paper out. So, it has this zippered area. So, like I said, I know it's similar to the Rogue, but I had to have it because the Rogue is more a little crossbody throw on when I'm, you know, at maybe a music festival or an art festival or something like that. And we do like to go to things like that. And I don't want even anything this big. But this is a great everyday bag, you guys. And I'm thinking about getting a clutch. Your girl has gone mad for the cherry collection. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I just, I love it. I love that little bit of sparkle that they have added inside the cherries. I should do it like this, you guys. I should hide my face. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, of course it says that retail is $4.25. But I believe on the coach website, you know, I'm not sure. Okay, so you guys, I just can't help it. I love it so much and I'm so glad that I got it, even though I had to pay a little extra for it because I just couldn't wait, you guys. I'm gonna do a little ABS for you, sans the music. We're just gonna spin it around a little. So you can actually wear this crossbody and I like to carry my bags like this. I like to put them over my elbow and if I want to, I can throw it over my shoulder. So I'm just absolutely thrilled. And look, it even has little feet. It has little itty bitty baby feet. Now I'm thinking about getting the clutch. I mean, I just want everything they make with the chalk and the cherries. I have quite the collection. I may have to show you all of them at once in a video. If you would like to see it, just let me know and I can do a what fits in all of them. So I'm really excited you guys to have this. I really fought it you guys. I fought it but I lost the battle. <laughs> I cannot wait. I can't. Woo, I can't. Oh my gosh you cutie little. Woo, I love it. I can't wait to use it you guys but I've committed to carrying my artsy. It's probably been, it's probably been a year since I've carried this bag. So I'm gonna carry this bag halfway through the week. I think big bags are coming back, you guys. I mean, I've got a stuff full of all kinds of stuff and it's kind of fun just to be able to throw everything in the kitchen sink in your bag and not have to worry and not have to maneuver things around. I kind of like to dig, you know? <laughs> all right, you guys, so 
I was going to show you the little haul that I got when I was at the beach. We didn't do much shopping. We did a lot of beaching and just hanging out and having fun with the family. But I always managed to get a little bit of shopping in. So I got this t-shirt that I'm wearing. Just this little tie-dye t-shirt from Pineapple Willies. It's kind of a famous place there in Panama City. It's got this little pineapple on the back. I hope that's showing because I can't see what I'm doing. Anyway, I love me some tie-dye, so I got that. I also got, let's go ahead and, okay. So I got several t-shirts and I also got another pineapple wheelie and I got these in the large so I could you know, they're oversized, or no, this is extra large. And it's the comfort colors. So I got this purple one, because I love this color. I need more of this color in my life. You guys, I'll tell you what I need. I need the baguette. It's not a bag, it's a baguette. And I need it in this color, yes. Let's not get off on the baguette. But anyway, I got this tie-dye one. And I got this purple one, and they're so soft. I just love them, just to wear around the house. All right, and I also picked up this one at just one of the little um, shops. So they have all kinds of, uh, they have all kinds of t-shirts in all the shops at Panama City. So I got that one. And then I love to go to a store called Shipwreck Limited. And I usually find a lot of stuff there, but I, I don't know if I wasn't feeling it or I just didn't really see anything I wanted, but I did pick this up. Winnie, you will appreciate this one. It's a very thin, um, kind of a sweatshirt, but look at the sleeves, kind of bell sleeves and just kind of a raw, kind of a raw neck. I wanted it in a large because I wanted it to be way oversized, but they didn't have large. So I settled for the medium. I just love the sleeves and it's so, so soft, you guys. And this is the brand, Recycled Karma. I've seen it on Facebook. Uh, they also have it on that website that I like so much, Revolve. They have really cool t-shirts, the kind of t-shirts that Winnie would love, like bands and things like that. So I did pick this up. This is very lightweight and it's, it's raw. The sleeves are raw edges, the bottom of it, and I just love something like that. And then also, I picked up this little crop tee, and it's Vans. And look at the back of it. So I thought this would be cute to wear with just some leggings in the fall. Yeah. T-shirts, t-shirts. And I also got some little t-shirts from Pineapple Willies for my little granddaughters. I got them both in a pink one. And then, just like I have on, but hot pink. Okay, so my son and my daughter-in-law and the granddaughters, they didn't go on this trip because they're building a house and they've got a lot going on. So they're the only ones in my family that didn't go with us this year. But I got the girls these cute little anklets. So I think they are going to the beach in about a week and a half. So I got the girls a little something and their little pineapple willy t-shirts. So I got that. And then I love a nice sarong. And at Shipwreck Limited, they have a, always have all kinds of colors. And I have several bright colors. And I saw this black one and I thought that was really pretty. So I picked that up and I got a dress. And of course, it's typical me. It's just a black kind of a thin sweater dress, just a sheath. And it just has these straps, you know, just plain. You know, I like my plain clothes. I think on one side, yeah. On one side, there's a bit of a, a there's a little bit of a slit here on one side. So, this is the kind of dress, because it's not really thick, that I could wear it. I could wear it in the summertime, spring, I could wear it in the fall, put a little jacket over it. Anyway, couldn't pass that up. They have some really cute things there at Shipwreck Limited. All right, there's one other thing that I did pick up, and I love this little store called Shimmering Sea, and it's it's in Pier Park. There's a place called Pier Park. It's an outdoor 
shopping area that we always go to and have it wrapped up in this tissue paper. So I have a choker and I didn't bring it up here that matches and I wanted some earrings. So let me go ahead and pop these off and show you what these earrings look like because I thought they would be so pretty with my choker. And I started to get a bracelet, you guys, but I'm just into wearing gold bracelets right now. So I didn't know if I would wear it. So anyway, it has the fish hook closure with the leather and the pearls. How pretty is that? So I'll go ahead and pop them on, show you what they look like. Ooh, nice and dangly. Ooh, look at that, nice and dangly, you guys. How pretty. Ooh, that would be so pretty with my choker. I just have a leather strand choker with a pearl. These are freshwater pearls. And I chose these because they have like the different colors. That would be pretty with this little dress for date night. Yes. So that's all I got, you guys. I didn't go to Dillard's like I usually go. I didn't go to the outlets. We just went to Shipwreck Limited and a few of those little beachy stores. But I couldn't wait, you guys. I wanted to just come on here looking like hot mess Santa because I had to open this even though I can't carry it for a couple of days because I definitely need to use that artsy. But you guys, how beautiful is this bag? I'm obsessed. So if you guys want me to break out my entire Coach Cherries collection and do a what fits in each of the bags that I have, just let me know in the comments below. I don't really have anything else to show you. Oh, but I do have story time and it's really bad, you guys. I cannot believe there are people in the world that are so dishonest okay okay so i have shared with you guys that i do sell items on mercari and i have done really well you guys i've been selling on mercari for not even a year and i've already made like five thousand dollars on there and it's great and in a, almost a year i've only had two problems and the first one wasn't really a problem she just sent the item back but it was fine she was you know, honest. So while I was at the beach, I got a notification from Mercari that the item that I had shipped out did not match my description. And that's not true. So I sold a brand new Louis Vuitton box and dust bag and it was immaculate. And I put all of the measurements on there, you know, the dimensions of the box. And it was just straight from the Louis Vuitton boutique. So she requested to send it back and she sent me a scathing message and told me that it's reeked of a foul odor and it smelled musty. And I said, no, the one I sent you was brand new from the boutique. You don't have to lie. I sent you a brand new box. It didn't have a scratch on it. And I sent you a brand new dust bag. And while we were at the beach, I, tr I tried to go on Mercari because they'll give you like a day or two to respond. And normally they do sign up with the seller, but we had a really bad internet connection while we were there. And I tried to get through to them and I tried to send my response. It would not go through. It just kept spinning. And I told Keith, I said, you wait and see. When we get home, she's going to send me back a different box, probably a fake box and probably a fake dust bag. And that's exactly what she did. The box is real but it's all dented up. It's not the box that I sent her. It's torn on the corners and the dust bag is half the size of the one that I sent her. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's fake. So I'm going to email them, but I could not get through to them. And if I had been able to get through to them, probably they would have sided with me. I have an excellent, I have excellent reviews and this is the only real problem I've ever had other than one return and she just changed her mind, which is fine, you guys. People change their mind, but really, how can people, people be so dishonest? Send me a mean email knowing that she's scamming me. Ugh, you guys, I was so mad. I, Why? There are just so many, why are people like that? I don't get it, I'll never get it. dishonest people. Do we not have enough problems in this world that 
you know, can't we just be fair? Can't we just be good people? I mean, how hard is it, right? I told Dawn and she's like, that is just so awful. It's so infuriating. And I said, it really is. It's just absolutely sad that anybody would do something like that. But anyway, that's just, that's just part of it. I'm sure that happens on Poshmark, which I don't trust Poshmark, eBay. I don't do eBay, but Mercari, I've had, a, you know, and I've bought a few things on there. I've had, you know, um, pretty good success on Mercari. And I have had people ask me to do a video about it. I may, I may at some point because it's really easy to make money, things that you don't want. I've really just cleaned out my closet, you guys, and got rid of some things. And up until now, this is the only time I've really been scammed in a year, not quite a year. I was just going to tell you guys that. And uh, yeah, so Keith went and ordered, Keith has ordered us a pizza and we're just gonna sit back and watch some TV tonight and relax. Tomorrow's the 4th, we're going out on the boat. So I wanna say thank you to all of you who have served. I am proud to be an American. I'm proud to be a Greek American. I love my country and I am thankful for all the blessings that we have here in this country. And I wanna say happy 4th. I hear Keith yelling downstairs, hold on. I'm coming and may the fourth be with you okay I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll be looking I'll make up for the way I look okay I'll fix up for you guys on the next video so thank you for spending time with me I will see you in another video on another day peace